Today is 10th of September. I came to climb the highest mountain of Europe, Elbrus. I arrived yesterday in the evening to the village Tirskol and this morning I started my acclimatization hikes. So now I'm walking in the valley along the river Irik. I started around 11.20 am, 9.6 kilometers with elevation almost 1000 meters. The weather is really nice these days and almost no people. This morning I met just four people on this trail. So basically the trail is easy, only at the beginning when you start from the village Elbrus it goes up, but after it's just a smooth elevation. Time is 2.20 pm. I was walking around 3 hours with uh, small breaks. So uh, there is one more kilometer to the end of the trail, but I will not go further because people told me it seems a beer nearby. But from here I can see the glacier and the end of the river. So nice view and it's better to be safe. Even here I'm a bit scared to be alone because I don't have anything to protect myself against a bear. I hope now I'm out of bear zone. So maximum altitude I reached today is around 2700 meters and total hiking distance is 80 kilometers. Behind me is Rumiantseva waterfall. Now I will take short tea break and go down around 7 kilometers. Time is uh, 3 pm. And in this area, many yaks and cows walking all around. Part of the trail goes just through the normal forest where you can meet some cows. Way down took me around 2 hours and 15 minutes. Uh, the hardest part is last 2 kilometers because the trail is quite steep so you cannot walk fast. Uh, down there uh, the village Elbrus and from here 10 kilometers to my campsite in Terskol. So now I will return and take some rest and cook food. <laughs> so first 18 kilometers and first day of acclimatization is finished. This is regular apartment house, but here it's normal, common to make apartment bigger just to build it in front of the actual building. <laughs> Actually, it's illegal, but who cares? I saw it very, very often here. It's really funny. Here people built three floors, like one more smaller house. Second day of acclimatization and uh, I'm going to the glacier Kashkatash. Two kilometers with elevation 700 meters. This is Eagle, my mountain friend we met one year ago on Elbrus. Hello, my friend. <laughs> when we were going down, when no one reached the top. Mm -hmm. So today we are in total <coughs> six people. Four guys from Murmansk. No, we are seven people. So it will take around, I hope, two hours. But here we need to take special permit, permit which is cost 250 rubles because it's a border zone. So the trail looks like this 
stones and quite steep way up. Last 700 meters, one hour since we started and I'm the first out of seven people. Of course, Igor is walking the same speed as his group because he's a guide, but I'm walking in my normal speed. After Himalayas, it's okay for me. Time is 12 p.m. and I came to the end of the trail to Kashkataj Glacier. Altitude here is 3000 meters. The trail is 2.3 kilometers with elevation 700 meters. So it took me one and a half hours to reach here. The guys are still on the way. So now I can see Elbrus very clearly. And in this direction is a pass with SPS. It's 3,700 meters. It's also one of the spots uh, where people go for acclimatization. Glacier Kashkatash itself. So to come here, you need to take permit in the place called Shkelda. Cost 250 rubles, and you need to keep your passport with you all the time because this is border zone with Georgia. Georgia is, is just a few kilometers away from here. As I know, this glacier getting smaller all the time. And now I can see Cruz very clearly because the weather is perfect. Now we came down to walk a little bit on the glacier, but we have to be very careful because a lot of cracks and holes. Glacier Kashkatash. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect Russian English. <laughs> so behind this pass is already Georgia. Way down took us one hour and 20 minutes. So almost the same time as to go up because the trail is quite steep so you cannot really run. <laughs> time is half past three. So today I finish my hikes early. Today is 12th of September and this is my third day in the mountains. I will go to the pass with the SPS on the altitude 3,700 meters. So it's uh, seven kilometers away from the main road to the beginning of trail. Trail is 3.3 kilometers with elevation 1,450 meters. So it's gonna be tough, steep way up. I will drink tea quickly and start. Time is 10 a.m. and uh, I'm alone today. One hour since I started and I completed around one kilometer. I wouldn't say it's really tough, but I can see the way down will be really difficult because it's steep and sometimes it's just landslide and uh, can be rock fall. Let's see. And yesterday I was there, Glacier Kashkatash. Some people die on this pass. I already saw five memorial plates. This one from 2015. As I heard, 
sometimes here rock fall happens but now I don't see any danger two hours since I started and I completed two kilometers which is good I think and I already could see but the SPS pass I have 1.4 kilometers more with elevation 440 meters I'm already on 3350 The way to the VCSPS pass took me exactly 3 hours Altitude is 3700 meters and I spent here 1 hour This is necessary to get acclimatization I was thinking I'm alone here but <laughs> after half an hour these two men came so I'm not alone Hello <laughs> We actually already been on the top of, of, of El Bruce and now yes. we go again. Yes. And we plan to go at the same day as me because it's the only uh, good weather to go there. So now I will go down and let's see how long time it will take. But the, the way down also will be tough because it's very, very steep. So the pass is up there. We already did the rocky part and now it's just ground trail and yesterday I was on the other side opposite side on the glacier Kashkatash and we can see a little bit of Elibrus in this direction way down took us also three hours and it was really tough and dangerous now we are going back so in total it took me six hours for this pass 13th of September and this is my fourth day in the mountains I didn't go anywhere today because the weather is really bad the rain started last night and didn't stop for all day so my tent got almost totally wet <laughs> that's why i moved to the kitchen of camping i got some sofa here so it's much nicer than to be in the <laughs> wet tent this is my last night on the lower altitude and tomorrow i will move to the elbrus base camp on the altitude around 4000 meters I'm ready to move. This is camping where I stayed for a few days while I was doing acclimatization hikes and it's located one kilometer away from Terskol. So in this building shower cost 100 rubles and toilet. This is kitchen and uh, dining room. So the space is quite big. I was here one year ago and it was full, but now in September, very few people here. This is my tent, which is totally wet now, so I uh, leave it here to dry and I will take it on the way back. There are two stoves, two sinks, so quite nice, and a charger as well. Last night I was sleeping on this sofa. <laughs> so now I will start my way up to the mountain Elbrus, but first I have to take equipment 14th of september this is fifth day in the mountains for me and uh, i came to azau this is the place where you can take a cable car on the altitude maximum 3850 meters it costs 1500 rubles actually i was thinking maybe i can go by walk it will take me around three hours but I have a lot of stuff equipment for climbing so I think I will take cable car also the weather is uh, not so stable 
last day it was heavy rain all day and this morning as well now the weather is sunny just small rain but i think up there will be snowy so in five minutes i will decide if i walk or take a cable car cable car will take around 20 25 minutes if you want to walk you can use this way but it's like six kilometers with elevation one and a half thousand meters quite steep so i better save my energy for the push up to the peak of elbrus currently the weather is nice but it can change immediately that's why i decided better to take a cable car because forecast says it can be snow showers or rain at least when you go by cable car from azao to garabashi you have to change cable cars two times so i already can see up there is a cloudy and probably snowy and not so many people now here around so actually it's even possible to hitchhike because some trucks they take this road up to the highest uh, cable car but now i didn't see any car So the cable car takes around 35 minutes, <laughs> time is almost 3 p.m. Uh, so the weather here is more or less okay. It's cloudy, but it's okay. I came to some cafe to change my stuff, to get more clothes, to drink some tea. And here I met the guys, <laughs> Misha and Anya, and I'm telling them my stories from Himalayas. So I will get ready in a few minutes and go to the higher camp on the 4,100 meters. When I was here first time, we put our tent right there. But now I, I go to stay in the mountain shelter. It will take me, I hope, around one hour. Quite a lot of snow, but if I really would like to stay in the tent, I could do it, but it's also very windy and I'm alone, so I better stay in the mountain shelter for sure. 20 minutes since I started and I already walked 900 meters. I have 500 meters more to the shelter and it will be up. So let's see. And the weather is getting how the shelter looks, two rooms. For now there is no electricity. This is the kitchen and the heating is with gas. And this is how you make water here. <laughs> the food which left other climbers. And this is the peak of Elbrus. Now the weather there is horrible.
today is not as windy as it was yesterday. So I started at 10 a.m. and let's see how long time it will take me. down from the leave of Fostopov took me 50 minutes. I returned around 2 p.m. and after half an hour a group of 10 people came here and actually I knew their leader because he picked me up in the first day when I was going for acclimatization. So these people go to the peak of Elbrus this night and they offered me <laughs> to join them. So we're gonna be eight people in total because three of them don't go because we already been there. So I'm very glad I will be not alone. It's very experienced people and they are very tough. This is man Alexander. He picked me up by hitchhiking the first day. <laughs> very cool, guys. What? These crazy. people are from Ivanova. It's a city close to. Moscow and Nizhny Novgorod in this direction. And now it's very, very windy. No, Войдите! Едите! Едите! А там, короче, сейчас еще метель началась. Ну слава богу! Вообще жесть! Time is half past three. We planned to go to the peak of Elbrus this night, but the weather is horrible. And it's on 4000. It's easy to imagine what is on the top. Very, very windy. So we go back to sleep. Last night weather was too windy, so we didn't go to the top. <laughs> but four people went at half past five and they reached a little bit higher than cliffs of Pastuchovs, maximum 5,000 meters. But this night is gonna be okay, so I plan to go. But this group, we go down. <laughs> 16th of September and this is my seventh day in the mountains. Actually my plan was to climb to the peak of Elbrus this night, but the weather is not so good. Tomorrow night the weather will be better, because now it's uh, still windy and even hard to open the door. So the group of 10 people left the shelter in the afternoon and since that time I'm totally alone. It's a bit uh, stressful and I'm a bit worried because uh, I just <laughs> think, think, think how it will be to climb to the peak of Elbrus alone. But let's see. At least I will go in the best weather. I use gas heater to warm up the shelter, but only for a short time because here on this altitude is already a lack of oxygen 
and if you will use gas all the time it will be even harder so during daytime I had some headache um, but I took some medicine and now I'm more or less okay hopefully I will have enough energy uh, for final push-up tomorrow I will rest all day as well 17th of September and this is my eighth day in the mountains this night I'm gonna climb to the peak of Elbrus at least I will try because the weather will be nice as Florica says so I was alone for one day and I slept well last night but this evening Tanya and Dima came from Murmansk they also go to the peak of Elbrus and I met them two days ago when I was doing my acclimatization hike so maybe we go together at least for now I'm sure I'm going not alone because in the next shelter there are also uh, around 10 people which will go this night to the peak of Elbrus so I hope you will be very lucky and have enough energy to make it to the top and back 18th of September we started at half past two and we see lights already up there the weather is okay just a little bit windy three hours since we started we almost reached altitude 5000 meters and now sunrise starts hours since we started time is half past seven we reached the altitude almost 5300 need to be very very careful that's why I don't film many videos time is 9.20 seven hours since we started and we reached the place called horse bend I think from here around couple of hours to the peak of Elbrus here most of people take rest and even some people leave their backpacks so we'll sit a little bit and go continue so now we have to use safety belt and attached two ropes to this main road
this is one of the most dangerous parts of the trail to the peak of Elbrus because it's like angle 45 degrees so if you fall down you can easily just get fast speed and uh, difficult to stop so this place called Corpses Collector this is snow car which brings people on the altitude 5000 meters so we just come here take picture and return also people which go for the peak of a bruise they use this snow car <coughs> to make uh, the trail shorter because today the weather is really nice so it's why snow melted in the night it was covered with snow all this road but now when the sun came up it uh, looks like summer again today is 18th of september and what i see i see the tent on the altitude 4200 meters i don't know how the weather will be in the next days but today it was perfect so way down from the peak of Elbrus to the shelter took me exactly three hours i packed all my stuff and quickly walked to the cable car station on the altitude 2847 meters so in total i spent in the mountains nine days and i climbed the uh, peak of Elbrus in the night from day 8 on day 9 so I'm very glad that I was able to climb the highest mountain of <laughs> so now I can say it's finished the last thing I want to say is about equipment of course, the most important is to have proper warm clothes. You can use clothes like for skiing, snowboarding, windstopping clothes. I had two pairs of gloves. One normal gloves and one thick gloves. Also, you need scarf for your neck, for your face. As more you cover your face, as better. You need special mountain shoes with crampons. Um, for your eyes, you need glasses or snowboarding mask with minimum third class of protection uh, headlamp with changeable batteries this is for the night when you go to the peak of the cruise trekking poles i think it's easier and uh, safer to walk with them but i saw some people walk without trekking poles i had a um, trapping belt with two carabines I used it uh, on the final way up and attached it to the special uh, security roll. But actually, if the weather is not windy, it's not necessary. For example, on the way down, I didn't use it. But of course, if you want to be more secure, you better take this strapping belt. Uh, also, about ice aids. This is unnecessary because it also can be dangerous if you don't know how to use it properly if you just keep on following the official trail it's very low risk for you to fall down uh, you need minimum one liter thermos you can take tea uh, or just lemon but lemon is very important you for sure should add lemon in your drink also very useful is uh, coke or some sweet drink but you have to keep it uh, in some warm place you can put it in your pocket but not uh, in the backpack because it, it will be frozen in a very short while you can take with you some snacks uh, for the climbing time but actually during all 10 hours i ate just one chocolate candy and half a liter of coke 
and one glass of tea and it was enough for me I didn't want to eat <laughs> so uh, the most important is to have some energy to refill your energy so sugar is probably the best so this is all about necessary stuff good luck and see you in the other mountains